Hello folks, the Celtic Nerd here bringing you another nerdy video. We are back with more Assassin's Creed Unity. <clears throat> and we are about to tackle another murder mystery. Let's see. I can remember uh, a man in his terry slumped at the dining table. Traces of blood dripping into the cold. Eternal hemorrhage. He was poisoned. My poor dear Tien. I was afraid such a thing would happen. I feared just such an event for weeks. My husband has endured many death threats ever since his vote to spare the king. He even took the extraordinary precaution of hiring Armand to protect himself. Hey. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, I need a drink. Oh. So he hired a bodyguard, but he voted to spare the king. Which would suggest, yeah, definitely he was not liked. There we go now, I want to interact with that chalice. Yeah, so, okay, so he was definitely poisoned. Very similar to our first uh, murder mystery. I hope I'm not to blame in any respect. It was I who advised Ennebert to invite the Gerard. I hoped to calm the murderous political situation. The wine was poured and we all drank a toast to letting bygones be bygones. Ennebert immediately fell choking to the ground. Okay, so that suggests that it was he, his tank himself that was poisoned, not the bar. Madame Gerard, my husband and I were invited to dine. And I was looking forward to a lovely evening. The Hennebert are known as a delightful couple. Citizen Hennebert was a political opponent, but he certainly had my respect. And my wife and I were delighted to accept his invitation. I understand that one of his servants has gone missing. That seems odd indeed. Mm -hmm. A missing servant. Can I not examine the bottle? Okay, my friend, we suspect that the uh, Montreal ra radicals have established things to black office. Operating out of the office of the post, your every move is being watched. Adrian Deport, proud member of the Ferdinand's Friend of the Constitution. So 
Is this one here? Oh my god! Instance of the uh, of the bullet through your window is the final straw. I'm sure you, you as the target, are more co uh, consent than I c that that we cannot allow your life to be put in the constant danger. Precautions you have taken do not appear to be adequate. As a result, the other leaders and I believe that we must bridge the chasm. I advise you to invite Sisson Garad and his wife to our weekly dinner. I will attend as well. It's purely social gathering to help clear the air no discussion of politics will be allowed uh -huh. there are seven different locations that will give clues and in here we're missing one clue We talked to... Oh wait, wait, what's this? A diamond necklace, a broken necklace made of glass beads. One appears to be missing. Uh -huh. So the glass bead could have contained the poison. I am Madame Gérard. My husband and I were invited. Okay. So we have the two floors here. Poor Monsieur Hilbert. He was always kind to me. It's all my fault. Alicia, tell Andre to order a new window from the glass here. It's my job to protect Monsieur Annabelle. I search everyone who enters his house for weapons or vials of poison. I also taste his food and wine before he has any, but I failed. I tasted the wine just before it was served by Andre. Like an idiot, I didn't taste it directly from his glass. A guest could have slipped poison into his empty glass long before the wine was poured. everyone a glass. They toasted and right away, Monsieur looked all queer. Then he fell dead. I am worried about André though. He's completely disappeared. Here, I'll give you his address. He might know something. Ah yeah, and there's the window pane. I feel like the window shot thing is a, is a red herring. <clears throat> is that the next location? One, two, three. Is it? Only one way to find out. No, it can't be. This is a printing press. Okay, so this top floor, <clears throat> and this is Andre the servant who brought in the, the wine. Andre, you are to go to gla uh, Glacier at 31 Berlin Montreal to order a placement window. Alicia. <coughs> My son ran to the apothecary. <coughs> the one near the post office.
okay. <clears throat> Definitely seems like Andre did it. He had the mean... He, okay. <clears throat> he had... He has regular trips to the apothecary, possibly to help uh, his mother. He had uh, v vials of things that were clearly poisonous. And he clearly, at some point, would have visited the glass maker. Which could have supplied him with the means of easily making that vial. Ah, uh, yeah, so yeah, it would have allowed him that uh, easy access to the necklace made. But, at the same time, why would he need the necklace? We'll go to the, this far, far off one here. Oh, Where are you oh. going? We'd love to give you a grand view through. So yeah, it could definitely be Andre. The question would be, why? His, like, his servant seems to like him. And his bodyguard was definitely loyal. his employer like hey I need extra money to you know care for my mother and Andre being like no I like I do like how as we progress the game things have gotten a bit more and more chaotic. Like we're seeing a lot more like weapons being on the streets, we're seeing heads on pikes, all that type of stuff. Like, uh, it, it's one of the nice details uh, that we see throughout this game. We also see, like, nobles basically defend, like, trying to fight off, like, clearly common men. This and have a replacement window pane, man in a mask, large mirror, Patriot, glass beads for necklace, including one PR drop. So this person is. Okay, so Patriot. Interesting. So if we find out who this Patriot is, we have our killer. I do a lot of work for important politicians. I don't much like folks nosing about. Get on out of here. Here we go. The Where is in the curiously? Okay. So, like, the f it was made there. Definitely made by that guy. Now the only question now is who actually did the deed. Andre is still missing. So we ha um, we just need down to find out who the owner of the, uh, the, the necklace is. Now the term patriot. 
See, the only person I can think of who, who would... Citizen? I feel like it was one of the, the noble ladies. Because, like, because, like, um, the wife, I'm thinking it's the wife of the guy from the other p political group, the ones that were against him because of, he was like, oh yeah, let's not kill the king. So, to me, like, I feel like maybe, even though her husband is, was probably a bit more kinder, like, and he was okay with, like, hey, we're, we're both politically different, but I still respect you. It's possible that the wife isn't. And, like, so there we go, we have another instance of, like, stuff going, like, crazy stuff going on. What's the matter? All right, here's the apothecary. I didn't know anything happened to Monsieur Hennebert. After I poured the wine, I stepped back to the servants' area. A messenger came to tell me that my sainted mother had taken a turn for the worse. I ran home then rushed here to buy her some medicine. The only unusual thing about the evening was that just before the wine was served, Madame Girard's necklace broke. Monsieur Girard tried to fix it at the table. Madame Gerard. Yeah, okay, these murder mysteries are definitely taking a significantly longer time than... Oh no, okay, we, we've been here. Yeah. And you can't accuse her. There is one location I have not visited. Wait. Let's check them out because they are showing up at least. That's the apothecary. Oh, that's another murder mystery. That's the glass blower. We're looking for a green area. Where's the other area that we're supposed to investigate? This is just the right thing. <laughs> there, I feel like there might be a clue we're just completely missing. And we can't investigate the gunshot. 
But again, I feel like that is just red herring. I am worried about Ame though. He's complete. I am Madame Gerard. My husband and I were invited to dine, and I was looking forward to a lovely evening. The you know, are like known as a delightful couple. You cannot condemn me simply for pretending my necklace broke by accident. Really? It wasn't her? Oh, wow. See, again, I don't know where that next location is. It's, like, how am I supposed to solve this? You can apparently travel very far for it. Way. Way. I think that it was a comp like it was the glass blower. Nice as he claims? Citizen Hennebert was a political opponent, but he certainly had my respect, and my wife and I were delighted. Citizen Hennebert was a political opponent, but he certainly had my respect, and my wife and I were delighted to accept. Well, he voted to spare the king. Such men are traitors to the revolution. He was a traitor to the revolution. I should get a medal. Because, like, the only reason why I could think was because, like, didn't he? I think Andre said, like, he attempted to fix the necklace at the table. I still can't make this one out. The glass won't break. Odd. Go ahead, choose.
There we go. We're at 25% of the murder mysteries done, so there's still quite a bit, and they can, clearly they can be quite lengthy, like this one went on. This was one of the more difficult ones, in my opinion, uh, mainly because I couldn't go to the last fucking location. Uh, actually, I'm going to quickly look up, where was that last location? Uh, what was the press called? Body uh, Politic? So it looks like I wasn't the only one who had, like, part of reading it. So yeah, I'm, I, okay, so, reading, like, okay, that's, that's, uh, game FAQ, read it now, just curious, okay, yeah, IGN, I'm, I'm, I'm checking these things out, because I'm, I'm wanting to read up on, like, people's comments and stuff. Um, so yeah, okay, so apparently the body, the body politic is the, has, is the only one, it's the only murder mystery that has a location that does not get marked on the map. So, so yeah, like, oh, so it, 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 we don't know if it's a bug or if it's, just something that, like we uh we, we don't know that there's no exact answer of why it happens but because uh, if it was a bug sorry if it was if i feel like if it was a bug that was clearly well known maybe they would have patched it i don't know but in either case everyone had issues with this quest, sorry, this murder mystery, because of the fact that there's there was no way to solve the uh, mystery without uh, that bit. Well, you, sorry, you can solve it, but everyone was just frustrated over the fact that like. The, bo uh, the black office, which is a location that you're supposed to go to, and it has like uh, five clues. Uh, hold on. Uh, I, I, hold on, I had the list there. Um, but yeah, it has five, like, I think five, three to five clues, and everyone is just like, wow. Like, we could not go to this location, so that, like that's just absolutely amazing. That we like we oh it's just like oh my god. Anyway, well it is done now, and we're gonna be moving on to the next one, and again hopefully we can. Uh, get through all of this uh, soon enough. Now again, I'm gonna, tr I, I, I'm gonna be trying to continuing to do uh, my Star Wars videos, so like we're, I'm, I'll be, pr I'll probably take a break at some point to do some, uh, some Star Wars videos. 
because, like, again, I still want to make some progress on that. I don't want to just only focus on one thing over the other. I want to try and find some way to balance out doing all these things. In any case, this is the Celtic Nerd, signing out. One name, one sky. <laughs>